welcome to yet another episode of Takeover Makeover. For this episode, we worked on the gorgeous Adidana. We revamped her look for events and occasional outings. So take a look and see what happens. My name is Adidana and I've lived in Kenya for a year and a half now. The way I would describe my style would be two words. One is color and the other is comfort. Not that you can tell now, there's not much color going on, but I really like the colors that I think work for me, blue, purple, green, gold. And then I also really prioritize comfort. I don't like things that are too low or too tight or too high um, because if I am wearing one of those dresses, then I'm always checking to see if something is wrong and then I'm not having a good time. So I generally go the safe route. So when I moved to Kenya, it was originally supposed to be a short term stay. And as a result, I didn't really bring much with me because I thought, okay, I'm only here for a few months and you know, what have you. Uh, but now it is almost a year and a half later. So I've bought some things along the way, but actually still most of my things are, are not here. They're back at home. Um, so I find that every time I need to go out, especially for a work event, which there are a lot of these days, I'm kind of recycling the same things over and over again because I just don't have um, like everything that I am used to. Although admittedly, I'm not much of a shopper, so I didn't really have that much to begin with. So I have even less <laughs> than I started with because I really don't like shopping. Um, so that's the reason for the makeover today. Um, new ideas in terms of going out, trying to come up with new combinations that I hadn't thought of before, and working within what I already do have as opposed to you know, going out and always trying to find something different. So I'm really excited and we'll see what happens. This is my work closet. This looks all very fantastic. Maybe you can put on three outfits so that we can have an idea of what you'd wear to an evening event. Sure. Okay. So what we did with the hair was we washed it and detangled it. We actually did a conditioner as we detangled. What we're gonna do now is we'll do some small twists across all the hair, dry it and then straighten it out. So how do you normally style your hair? Generally I'll go and have it maybe wash and set mm -hmm. or go to a salon um, or sometimes wash and go. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the danger of that is when my hair is out and curly, mm -hmm. especially when it's curly, um, I play with it, especially on my left side with my left hand. And yeah. so in the process of playing with it and kind of detangling it on my own, I end up breaking it. So it's shorter on that side than the rest, uh, than the right side and the rest of my hair. Okay. So moving forward, I want to have that side catch up with everything else. <laughs> um, and yeah, but for now, I think I'm just looking for something different. So we are done braiding the hair. We are going to blow dry it so that it stretches out a bit. And then we'll do the flat ironing. So the reason why we're doing it this way rather than going straight into flat ironing is so that we use less heat as we flat iron. So we took out the braids and I quickly styled um, her hair just to give you an option of if you don't want to heat style it, uh, straighten it out, you can um, basically style it from where we left it mm -hmm. as, as un, uh, undone with the curls in. So what I did was I pulled up the hair at the back and then I pulled up the hair at the sides and then just um, teased the hair a bit to fall 
like a fringe over your over your face so that it frames it now this this style actually addresses um what we you had told me earlier about mm -hmm. one side being short and the other one being a little bit longer because you keep playing with your hair right so it lifts it up we don't see the difference in length at the back and that means we don't have to cut the hair so that it looks the same when you're styling mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Prudence Okwishatse. I'm the guest makeup artist for this episode. And while Nampiris is doing her hair, I will go ahead and start with her makeup. As you can see, her skin is very flawless, so we don't need to do much to it. But with most Africans or dark skin, we have a lot of hyperpigmentation. So there's a lot of dark spots, usually around the mouth area and under the eyes. So we'll just start off before foundation. We'll start off with a with a concealer. Um, so I'm going to use this Mac concealer uh, palette, um, and you want to start off with something that's a red or an orange. In this case, I'll mix both and just cover up the dark areas before applying any foundation. So right now I'm applying foundation. It's a very light application, so you want to use a thistle brush um, for just an everyday look because her skin is already fine you just need to make sure you blend it very well you don't want any streaks or anything Now that Nampiris is done straightening her hair, what I did was I applied highlighter on top of the foundation. You want to apply the highlighter where the sun hits the face, so the forehead, the bridge of the nose, and the chin. We also concealed her eyes to hide the dark circles, but now we also need to bring out her eyes, so I applied a highlighter under her eyes as well. I also contoured her chin. You can tell she has a full set of cheeks so we need to shape them in a way so we applied contour to contour her cheeks um, it's a bit of a darker shade here and also on the other side and then I also applied a light blush since this is the, during the day we want very light blush you also apply the blush on the cheeks and also where the Sun hits the face for this look we'll focus on the neutral colors we're focusing mostly on golds and pinks just to highlight her eyes and bring them out. Now we're moving on to the eyeliner. The eyeliner will, will keep it very simple. We won't do a cat eye or anything. We'll just line the eye to give her eyes some, some depth. And for brown eyes, you wanna line with black so that the brown, brown can really pop out. Okay, so we're going to stick with a nude lipstick to go along with the day looks for her. She's wearing a lot of pinks and a lot of uh, neutral colors, so we want to keep her, her look very neutral. Her eyes are a bit dark uh, for a day look, so we have to keep the lips um, light. Two things Adi told us at the beginning of the video was that she wanted comfort and color, and that's exactly what we gave her with this look. So we gave her a colorful top, as you can see, uh, a matching blazer then we went for a very uh, minimal necklace but it's still very chic we also matched the necklace with her rose gold watch then from there moving further down simple denim jeans and from there we can see the very beautiful pointed heels so to match that we also gave her this beautiful clutch just to match her shoes so overall this is a very casual but chic outfit to go for any event so for this look, Prue changed the lip color as you can see and the touch of pink kind of highlights the different little pink spots on her 
outfit. Uh, we chose to go with the same blazer from the other outfit because uh, number one, Adi actually talked about having a limited closet, but at the same time, she also talked about having a dislike for very fitted dresses. As you can see, this is a fitted dress, but um, for the sake of her comfort, uh, we wanted to pair it up with a blazer so at least she can feel comfortable. So we also paired it up with this necklace, which is like a corally jade color, and that also brings out the, the same color in her dress. Moving down, um, we paired it with a neutral bag and also paired it down with the same shoes from the previous shoot because it really accentuates the dress. So overall, this is a, a very formal event kind of look and I think she looks fabulous. So this is our final look. Uh, as you can see, this is the party look. Uh, we paired this fantastic mustard blouse with a statement necklace and the necklace kind of ties in the look because it incorporates the same colors that are on Addis shorts. So you can see there's a bit of mustard, a bit of black color and some red. Maybe another thing maybe I can add about this outfit is uh, when you're styling something that's short, it would be nice to balance out with something that is covered at the top. Or if you go with something that is a bit exposed at the top, you balance it with something that is balanced that is covered, sorry, at the bottom. So to tie this look, we went with just a black coat and uh, black shoes and that's the look. So Adi, I think we're ready to party. I think so too. Yeah, just before we do that, Nems and uh, Prue are going to come and talk about the hair and the makeup just to tie in the whole look. To complement the gorgeous outfit that Sienna has picked for Adi, um, I held the hair up in a bun and did a folded fringe just so that um, we have less hair on the face and more focus on the shape of the face and the dramatic makeup. And for the makeup, we focused on the eyes with a dramatic eyeliner. It's a winged eyeliner. And then we, we focused on her eyeshadows, so we're bringing in the smoky eye look. Also, we paired it with this wonderful dark purple lip, which is perfect for night out. It just brings it all in with the whole dramatic look. Adi, how do you feel about the makeover? I love it. This yeah. is not something I would do normally. Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't worn these shorts since I bought them, which was <laughs> November 2014. Yeah. And I definitely wouldn't have put them with this top okay. or this jewelry. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Uh, the first one with the pink on pink, I wear that pink shirt to work often, but I never wear it out. Mm -hmm. um, I try to separate work and fun stuff. And mm -hmm. so I think um, some of the ideas you've given me today can really help me with that in the future. Uh, the second look I really like because, yes, the dress I normally wouldn't feel as comfortable in, but with the blazer, I think um, I'm more likely to wear that out now. Yeah. Yeah. And I also normally don't wear makeup at all, so mm -hmm. this is very different for me. <laughs> My friends and family would probably be shocked if they saw <laughs> this face right now, but I think all in all, they probably appreciate it the same. Yeah. And yeah, I'll call you guys when I want to recreate it. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a lovely time doing this makeover. Yes, so much fun. Yes. Um, you know, Adi talked about wanting color and comfort, and I think that's exactly what we gave her. Um, I think I'll just mention a few styling tips. First and foremost, um, working with a limited closet, I know it can be tricky, but I think that um, the most important thing is just to ensure that you have a variation in terms of combination of outfits. Yes. Um, also working with accessories, I think that is one of the most important things because it just accentuates the outfits. Yes. Um, and lastly, um, I think also giving a variation in terms of the outfits, and that's exactly what we, we did with Adi. Yeah. Um, so at least she had an idea of the kind of outfits she'd wear for the different kinds of events that she attends. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Yeah. And for the hair, Adi's hair is actually natural and she wanted it straightened. Now I don't recommend that you straighten your hair, especially when your hair is natural, because <laughs> it can affect your curl pattern. Yeah, so true. don't always use heat to style your hair. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we washed and conditioned mm -hmm. and detangled her hair just to bring in a little bit of moisture because we are going to style with heat. Yeah. And actually for the ones who don't, as a styling tip, mm -hmm. We did a style for Adidana without, uh, just before we flat ironed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So check out that bit and see what kind of styling option we have for non-heat styles. Yeah. Right. Now another thing is, another tip to remember is 
um, as you're detangling or styling the hair, work in sections just to avoid breakage. And then girls, keep give your hair a break. Oh, yes. Yeah, try a protective style. You can do your braids, your weaves, your wigs. Just make sure that you're not tagging onto the, um, the your hairline, yeah. which is a bit more sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just a few makeup tips. For a day outing, you want to look fresh and simple. Focus more on your outfit. Let that speak for itself. You also want to match the right skin tone with the right foundation. You want a simple eye and a bold lip. Now, for a night look, you can get as creative as you'd like. You can go for a bold lip and a bold eye and just highlight your skin. That's what makeup's about. Being creative and just having fun. So that's all for today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And don't also forget to like us on Facebook, Instagram, Takeover Makeover. And if you'd like us to take over your makeover, hello! <laughs> write us an email, our details are down below. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.